Uh, today's tip of the week is creating a 3D document view. So let me kind of describe that. Uh, you can also um, save 3D documents to your views. So not just 3D views, but 3D documents. Last week we talked about saving a 3D view as a tip. This week I'm going to talk about saving a 3D document view as a tip. And they are different. Saving a 3D view is just a, a, a view such as a 3D cutaway or save 3D perspective or axonometric view. Uh, this is actually saving from that 3D view that you, you, you have uh, to a 3D document where you can add notes, you can add annotations, you can add dimensions. Um, and, and start to develop that further in terms of a document. So to do that, I go to whatever 3D view that I want to save. I right-click in the menu and select New 3D Document from 3D, or I go to the Document menu, Documenting Tools, and select New 3D Document from that uh, menu. Either way will work. Once you've done that, it will bring up a dialog, um, and you can then save that view. Okay. Now, once you save that view, uh, you can also uh, edit those 3D document settings. Okay. And, and the reason why you might want to edit those 3D document settings is because typically when it saves that 3D document, it's going to save it as a colored uh, uh, view. That's kind of the default. Okay. And that 3D and that colored view might be fine, but maybe you want to use it for your construction documents, in which case you want it to be black and white. Or maybe you want for a presentation that you want black and white. So you can change the way that that particular document looks after the fact by going to, again, right-clicking the 3D window and selecting 3D document settings, or going to the document menu, documenting tools, and 3D document settings. Once you've done either of these, it will bring up that 3D document settings dialog. And this is where we can uh, you know, edit, again, some general information, 3D projection setting information, but most importantly is the model display. This is what most people bring us up for. And that is because what we can do here is we can change certain things. For example, if I want this to be black and white, I want to change this to uh, fill cut surfaces with a uniform surface. I want to set my cut surface material to black. That means anything that's cut here, right, is going to be black rather than different colors we have there. Uh, I want a uniform uh, pin color as well, uh, and I want that to be um, uh, black, okay? Um, I want to set uncut elements, so that would be like the background here, right? Um, the color of my floor, the color of you know elements, like you, know, you can see here where you've got different colors for all the different elements. Well, in order to set those to white as a background for uncut elements, you want to go here and set a uniform pin color as well. Set it to uncut surfaces pin to be white. And any uncut contour pins also to be black, so that you have a black outline instead of the different colors you might have here. You have a black outline for those elements. Um, and then also, if you're doing a presentation with this, you want shadows to be turned on, you could turn shadows on here. Uh, and if you wanted to have um, some transparencies, you could have those turned on so you could see through the glass. Um, right now, you can see you know, it's not actually seeing through the glass. So if you want to see through that, you can turn the transparency on. And you can also turn your vectoral 3D hatching on if you wanted to have that as well. So this is the way that you can, you know, sort of after you, you save that 3D um, document, that you can take it a step further and customize that 3D document to look the way that you ultimately want it to work and to be used uh, for construction documents or presentation drawings um, that you want in the end. And then, of course, once you've done that, we can then start to add on uh, lines. Uh, we can start, to, if we want to, we can draw fills on there. Um, we can um, uh, start to annotate, as I mentioned, and, and customize any sort of dimensions. Uh, basically, use it just like we would any other document in ArchiCAD um, after it's created. And this is the way it would look. Now that we can add detail, we can add notes, we can add annotation, and we can add any color um, to that. We can really begin to document it and, and work with it as a document um, uh, type element. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and we'll get into ARCHICAD.